Hi everyone, welcome back to the Bookworms Buddy. Um, today I wanted to do a bookshelf tour because I have not done one yet. So I figured I would do it today and um, share my books. Um, this is going to have to be divided up. I don't know how many videos I'm going to divide it up to. It's going to depend on how long it is. I have 700 books or about 700 books. Um, so it's going to take some time to get through it. And we'll just see where we're at when I get them all done um, as far as time frame goes. Um, the books are not in any particular order except by author. So like some of the authors that I like has their own shelf. And that is about the only thing that I have special about where they're arranged at on my shelves. I'm not picky about that. Um, a lot of my books are well read so you're going to see a lot of broken spines so don't hurt me. But, um, yeah, so I guess we'll just get started with it, and I hope you guys enjoy it. Here we go. Start up here at the top. These two shelves are all my Stephen King. So we're going to start here with Cell, and then we've got um, Duma Key, Just After Sunset, Four Past Midnight, Bag of Bones, The Mist. Up here we've got Carrie. Cujo, The Girl Who Loved Tom Gordon, Gerald's Game, Salem's Lot, The Dark Half, Insomnia, Desperation, and The Regulators. Then up here we've got Dolores Claiborne, Dreamcatcher, Skeleton Crew, The Dead Zone, Rose Matter, and these next seven, let's move my owls, these next seven are from the Dark Tower series, so we got The Gunslinger, the Giant of the Three, The Wastelands, Wizard and Glass, The Wolves of the Kala, Song of Susanna, and The Dark Tower. The very last one over here, we've got Dr. Sleep. Down here on the second shelf of Stephen King books is 112263, Lissy's Story, and we got The Talisman they wrote with Peter Straub, and then the sequel to that is The Black House, um, also with Peter Straub. We got the Tommy Knockers. Up here we got Needful Things, The Eyes of the Dragons, From a Buick 8, Nightmares and Dreamscapes, Hearts in Atlantis, The Shining, and Everything's Eventual. Another owl we need to move over. And then we've got um, over here we've got The Stand, The Long Walk, Night Shift, Different Seasons, It. Christine, The Bachman Books, Pet Cemetery, Roadwork, The Running Man, The Green Mile. And then we've got Joyland, and we've got Under the Dome. Down here on the third shelf, we're down here with Kristen Cashore. We've got Graceling, Fire, Bitter Blue. And then by Anna Guire, we've got Enclave and Outpost. And then I've got Angel Fall in there that I'm reading uh, by Susan E. And then here's World After. And then Dan Wells, Partial um, Sequence, I think it's called. We've got The Partials, Fragments, and I think The Ruins is the third one. I'm not for sure. My husband's the one that's reading that one. And then we've got Dead Right by Brenda uh, Novak. Clan of the Cave Bear by Jean M. Allel. Then we got James Reese here. We've got the Book of Shadows and the Book of Spirits. The next seven are Graham Masterton, who is my favorite paranormal author. So we've got Prey, Edgewise, Spirit, Night Wars, The Devil in Grey, The Fifth Witch, and The Doorkeepers. It's hard to get his stuff over here because he is an English writer, so I'm still working on getting all his stuff. And then we got The Ruins by Scott Smith. The Last to Die by Beverly Barton. Stranger with My Face by Lois Duncan. And then Sharp Objects by Gillian Flynn. Just disregard the sticker still on there. See how look. Okay, then down here on the fourth shelf, these first six books right here were I did for the authors. I reviewed for the authors. So we've got The Coming of Dark by Gary Martin, The Second Virgin Birth by Tommy Taylor, The Man Who Built the World by Chris Ward, Nexus 
by Gary Martin, which should be over there with Gary Martin. Um, Rage's Echo and The Land Beyond the Portal, um, J.S. Bailey, which are very good. Okay, the next we have Chelsea Kane's Heart Sick series. Um, I just got this is out of order, but it's a bigger book, so I put it with the bigger books. But we've got Heart Sick, Evil at Heart, The Night Season, Kill You Twice, and then we've got Sweetheart. And we move it over here. We've got Gotcha by Fern Michaels. And then the next four are by Kay Hooper. So we've got um, Haunting Rachel, Blood Dreams, Blood Ties, Blood Sins. And I believe those are part of a series. Okay, then the next five are Heather Graham. We've got Night is Forever. Ghost Walk, The Unseen, The Uninvited, and The Unholy. Then stuck in here in the middle is Maggie Shane, which is Darker Than Midnight. And then the next ones we've got here are Harlan Coven, who is actually a new favorite. So we've got No Second Chance, Gone for Good, Hold Tight, Play Dead, um, Just One Look, The Innocent, and Caught. And then here we've got his young adult, which is Shelter, and Seconds Away, which are both very good. And here on the end, we've got Six Years. Down here on the bottom shelf, we start with Lee Child, The Enemy, which actually starts, is part of the, the Jack Reacher series. I'm not even sure if I'm going to read those. And then we've got um, The Snowman by Joe Nesbo, Slam by Nick Hornsby. I Am Legend by Richard Matheson. Sue Monk Kid by, or The Secret Life of Bees by Sue Monk Kid. And these next four are kind of like kitchen mystery. They're by Joanne Fluke. We've got Strawberry Shortcake Murder, Cherry Cheesecake Murder, Carrot Cake Murder, and Sugar Cookie Murder. I thought those would be kind of fun mysteries to read. And then we've got one more here. Um, Lee Hollis, Death of a Kitchen Diva. Now this book I just recently did a haul on, which is The Street of Death, and it's by Marianne Mitchell. I've got three more of her books right here, Sips of Blood, Quenched, and Ambrosial Flesh. I think they're all vampire novels, but not the sweet, innocent vampire kind of books. And then we've got Freedom Land right here by Richard Price. Dracula by Bram Stoker. I'm really wanting to read this classic. And then by Natasha Rhodes, we've got Dante's Girl and The Last Angel. Karen Warren, we've got Slights. Lethal by Sandra Brown. And then these last ones are Lisa Gardner, which is The Third Victim, The Next Accident, Catch Me, The Other Daughter, and the last one here is Live to Tell. That finishes up our first bookcase. So we're on our second book, our bookcase, and we're starting up here with Dean Koontz. So we've got Odd Thomas, Forever Odd, Brother Odd, oops, Brother Odd right here, Odd Apocalypse, Odd Interlude, Odd Hours. Those, of course, are all part of the Odd Thomas series. The next we've got False Memory. Up here we've got Hideaway, The Bad Place, The Good Guy, Intensity, Velocity, The Taking, Life Expectancy, Tick Tock, From the Corner of His Eye, and The Bad Place. Well, we actually got two of The Bad Place. I just need to get rid of one of them. <laughs> okay, so then over here we've got Whispers, The Face, By the Light of the Moon, Shadow Fires, The Soul Survivor, and Mr. Murder. Okay, and then back behind here, we'll start back over here. We've got 77 Shadow Street, What the Night Knows, Watchers, The Eyes of Darkness. Up here we've got The Mask. Demon Seed, One Door, One Door Away from Heaven, 
Strangers, um, The Door to December, and then these last five here are the Frankenstein series. So we've got The Prodigal Son, City of Night, Dead or Alive, Lost Souls, and The Dead Town. And down here on the second shelf of this bookcase is my Richard Lehman shelf. We've got Among the Missing, Beware, The Cellar, The Beast House, Midnight Tour, One Rainy Night, mm, The Traveling Vampire Show, Bite, To Wake the Dead, No Sanctuary, In the Dark, Come Out Tonight, Island, Endless Night, Savage, The Lake, Darkness Tells Us, Body Rides, Dark Mountain, Blood Games, and The Night in the Lonesome October. And that's all the Richard Lehman books. Okay, down here on the third shelf, this is where you're going to find whatever romance novels I've got, in which I don't have very many romance. But one of the romance writers I really liked was Janelle Taylor. So we've got Chase the Wind, Savage Ecstasy, Bronze Ecstasy, Forbidden Ecstasy, Tender, tender Ecstasy, Defiant Ecstasy, and Bittersweet Ecstasy. And that was the first romantic series that I ever read. And I cried and laughed. And, I mean, it was just a really good series. And then, still with Janelle Taylor, we got Destiny Mine, Follow the Wind, Promise Me Forever, Don't Go Home, Wild is My Love, By Candlelight, and Whispered Kisses. Um, she does also write romantic suspense, too. So, like, um, Promise Me Forever was a romantic suspense and don't go home as well um i didn't haven't read those two or these three i read all those though next we've got nicholas sparks which i haven't read any of yet we've got the rescue the lucky one um dear john at first sight abandon the road and the guardian and then we've got the garcia and stole series the beautiful series which you got Beautiful Creature, Beautiful Darkness, Beautiful Chaos, and Beautiful Redemption. And I have not read those yet. And then down on the fourth shelf, here is where you're going to find my Ellen Hopkins books. Um, in first spot is Collateral, but that's going, uh, that's on my February TBR, so it's not in here. And then we got Triangles, Crank, Glass, Fallout, Impulse, Perfect, Burned, Smoke, Identical, and Tricks. And I just need Tilt, um, which is a companion to Triangles. And then here on the end, I've got Angie Sage's um, Septimus Heap series, which is magic. I've got a flight in here because it was February TBR. Physic, Quest, Siren, Dark, and then Fire is the last one, which I don't have yet. Then here on the end, I've got a uh, Mitch album book um, for One More Day, which was really a good story. Then down here on the very bottom shelf, we've got um, the unabridged Jack London, which is like Call of the Wild and all the like, good wolf stories that my mom really loved, and she got me to read a couple of them. They're really kind of vicious. And then we got Monkey Shines by Michael Stewart. It's a great horror novel. Um, a Single Stone by Marilyn Wallace, also one of my mom's books. Next, I got Veronica Roth series, the Divergent series. There's Divergent, and then Insurgents for my February TBR, and then there's Allegiant. Next three are Ali Condi, which is the Match series. Um, they got really great covers, and I really enjoyed the series. It wasn't, it didn't wow me, but it was pretty good. And then we got Rick Riordan here, which is the Percy Jackson and the Olympians. So we've got Lightning Thief, Sea Monsters, or The Sea of Monsters, The Titan's Curse, The Battle of the Labyrinth, and The Last Olympian. So I have not read those yet. And then here we've got Galen Beckett's trilogy, The Magician and Mrs. Quint, The Master of Heathcraft Hall, and The House on Durrell Street, which is the book that actually got me to pick up the other two books for this trilogy. And then the last three on this bookcase is Richard Cadry's Sandman Slim series. So there's Sandman Slim, um, Kill the Dead, and Aloha from Hell. And I'm thinking there's more to this series. Um, I'll have to check on that. And that 
is the end of our second bookcase. We're moving on to our third bookcase, and we're starting off with Jane Patter James Patterson and his Young Adult series, which is the Witch and Wizard series. So the first one is Witch and Wizard. Um, then we got The Fire, The Gift, and The Kiss. And then the second Young Adult series is the Maximum Ride series, which right here is um, the Angel um, Experiment. And then we've got Schools Out Forever, Saving the World, and Other Extreme Sports, The Final Warning, Fang, Angel, and Max. Then we've got the Alex Cross series, which I have almost all of them. I just need like four more books. So we've got Along Came a Spider, Kiss the Girls, Jack and Jill, Pop Goes the Weasel, Roses are Red, Violets are Blue, uh, Big Bad Wolf, and London Bridges, Mary Mary, um, Alex Cross, right, no, Double Cross, Alex Cross's Trial, then there's I, Alex Cross, and Crossfire. And then we come down here, and we've got The Woman's Murder Club, which we've got First to Die, we've got Second, um, Second Chance, Third Degree, Fourth of July, The Fifth Horseman, the Sixth Target, I Need Number Seven, The Eighth Confession, The Ninth Judgment, and then there's a 10, 11, and 12 that goes in there. Next, we've got Sunday at Tiffany's, um, Sam's Letter to Jennifer, The Jester, Absolutely Loved, The Quickie, Honeymoon, When the Wind Blows, The Midnight Club, You Been Warned, Lifeguard, and Sail. Then down here on the end, we've got Iris Johansson, so we've got Close Your Eyes, Dark Summer, Body of Lies, um, What Doesn't Kill You, The Face of Deception, Quicksand, Sleep No More, Taking Eve, and The Killing Game. Then moving over here on the third shelf, we start over here with Sherry Lynn Kenyon, which we start with Infinity, but it's a TBR. It was my book jar pick. Then we got Invincible, Infamous, and Inferno. Then we got some more Sherilyn Kenyon here. We've got Born of Fire, Blood Trinity, um, Dark Side of the Moon, The Dream Hunter, which is part of the Dark Hunter series. Next, we've got Noah Roberts. We've got Dance of the Gods, and then a short story, which is Night Tales. And then we've got Northern Lights. And then we've got, over here, we've got Pillars of the Earth, Ken Follett, and then we've got Fall of Giants right there. I just didn't have room to slide that in there. And then we've got Harvest, um, Shiver, The Road by Cormac, Cormac McCarthy, Shivers by Karen Robards, Cold Truth by Joel Goldman, Abraham Lincoln, Vampire Hunter by Seth Graham Smith, Jack Higgins, uh, Edge of Danger book, Bone Gods by Caitlin Kitterich, and then... Diana Gabaldon, The Drums of Autumn, and then Terry Goodkind, we've got um, Faith of the Fallen, and Soul of the Fire. And those two are both part of the same series. Down here on the fourth shelf, we're starting over here with Wicked by Gregory Mag McGuire, looking forward to that one, Tanya French, The Likeness. Incarnate by Jody Meadows. These next three are Richie Tankersley Cusick, Spirit Walk, The Unseen, and The Unseen 2. Those two were fantastic. I haven't read Spirit Walk yet. Sarah Dessen, This Lullaby, which I want to read more of Sarah Dessen. Carrying Comfort by Dan Simmons. In Search of Eden by Linda Nichols. Uh, Marie Lou Legend. Alice in Zombieland by Gina Showalter. Beautiful cover. And then I've got Intertwined and Twisted, both by um, Gina Showalter. And I need one more book um, for that trilogy. And then we've got Lucky Street by Carly Phillips. The Light Between the Ocean by M.L. Stedman. Man and Boy by Tony Parsons. Um, Recovering Charles by Jason... That's right. 
With Their Eyes by Annie Toms, Hoot by Carl Hyacin, Any Bitter Thing by Monica Wood, Incarnation by Emma Cornwall, Vow, The Vow by Kim Prickett and Kim and Cricket Carpenter. One Flew Over the Cuckoo's Nest by Ken Kessie. I think that's how you say his name. And then They're Watching by Greg Hurwitz. And now we're down to the bottom shelf. And we've got uh, The Lost by S.J. Bolton. Into the Darkest Corner by Elizabeth Haynes. And then these next ones we've got here are by um, Kristen Hanna. So we've got On Mystic Lake, Winter Garden, Firefly Lane, Fly Away, and Homefront. I'm really looking forward to getting into more of her books. Next two we got Elisa Scottaline. Um, this one is Think Twice. This one is Look Again. Um, I participated in the World Book Night, if you can see that on here. 2013. This was the book that I gave out. It was a very good book. Um, next we got Poison Flower by Thomas Perry. Assassin of Dreams by Ariel Barrington and Stone Vale. These next four were my mom's books. They're all Patricia Cornwall. We got Postmortem, The Body Farm, From Potter's Field, and Hornet's Nest. And then the ones that I bought of Patricia Cornwall, we've got Cause of Death, Blowfly, Cruel and Unusual, Point of Origin, and Trace. Um, these are all part of the series. And then the last one we got here on bookcase three is The Altar of Bones by Philip Carter. And I really liked the cover on that one. And that completes bookcase number three.